Welcome to F12 MGD News Updates. Greetings to you, dear friends and faithful. Another new year, another advent. The world waited for the Prince of Peace then. Today, peoples everywhere long for peace, fitful sleep, food and reasonable water and light. It is again Christmas without the basics. Christmas with the deprived and it is becoming more and more Christmas without Christ. Dark times. Will we see ceasefires in the many troubled places? The COVID is back. The warning is out. Prepare for the monsoon floods, the media warns. Exams and school holidays can be stressful. Festivities add more burdens on the families. To spend or not to spend is a dilemma. Who sets the tone? The adverts and mega malls or the hits of the families? Decide on what you want to celebrate. The poor and the deprived improvise. They celebrate the reason for the season. The rich may splurge and miss the Christ of Christmas. Let us remember the call of this year's Protect Year 4, cut down on fuel consumption. Remembering a Filipino, Filipino saying, I eat less, you eat less, they eat more. A thought for the week. If you took a trip around the globe, you would travel almost 25,000 miles. Yet, this distance is still not the furthest in the sense of importance to an individual and what they do with the life they are given. What is the greatest, most important distance in the world? It is an astounding 18 inches, the distance from the person's heart to their head. People can have all the knowledge about a particular subject matter in their head and be as smart as the wisest individuals who walk the earth. But unless they live it and use their abilities, it will mean nothing. One of the favorite slogans in athletics is also so very true in person's everyday life. The difference between an ordinary person and an extraordinary individual is that little extra. There are an untold number of people that have great ideas, thoughts, inventions, solutions to the world's problems and actually do something about them. They do act on their thoughts. A person may have all the book knowledge of something, but if they never actually use it, it is worthless. An individual may know how to build a house, where to place the lumber, the plumbing, the electrical system, the foundation, etc. But if that person never goes out and physically builds a house, what good is having that knowledge? So are you a thinker or a doer? How well are you conquering the greatest distance in the world? Announcements for this week. One, congratulations to the Malacca Diocese Young People's Network for the dedicated service and groundwork done for the Vicariate level World Youth Day celebrations. There were 475 participants in Malacca, 380 in South Johor, and 180 in North Johor. It is wonderful to see the young people express themselves in songs, dances, clappings, and fellowship. Two, the 25th sacerdotal anniversary of Father James Rajendran will take place on the 4th of December at 6 p.m. at the Church of the Immaculate Conception, Johor Bahru. Third, Sister Jennifer Palinisami, a Canosian, will be making a final profession on the 9th of December 2023 at 11 a.m. at the Chapel of St. James, Merlimau. 
प्रे फॉर ओकेशन क्यों 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 आस कैन वन बी हैप्पी वे मैनी आस है एन एंथ्रोपोलॉजिस्ट प्रपोज द गेम टू चिल्ड्रन इन एन एफ्रीकन ट्राइब ये पूरा बास्कर ऑफ फ्रूट नियर अ ट्री एंड टू द चिल्ड्रन हु एवर गॉड देर फर्स्ट वन द स्वीट फ्रूट्स वेन ई टोल दैम टू रन दे ऑल टूक ईच अदर्स हैंड्स एंड रैन टू गैदर दैन सेट टू गैदर एंजॉइंग दे ट्रीट्स वेन ई आस्क दैम वाई हैड दे रन टू गैदर लाइक दैट एस वन कूड हैव हैड ऑल द फ्रूट्स फॉर सेल्फ दे सेट ओबुंतु हाउ कैन वन ऑफ वर्स बी हैप्पी If all the other ones are sad, Ubuntu in the civilization means I am because we are. That tribe knows the secret of happiness that has been lost in all societies that transcend them and which consider themselves civilized societies. The Malacca Jodaisis. Diocese and Pastoral Assembly 2023 reminds us to be faithful to three pillars of being a synodal diocese that is communion participation and mission may we be faithful to the prompting of the holy spirit god bless you all